So uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a fun meme activity to do with your students. I know that one thing that I always try to convey to my students is that they can be creators of technology and not just consumers. And what do kids consume more than anything? Memes. So this is a fun, engaging activity for kids. You can do it anytime, an end of the year activity, what's your favorite memory from the class and a meme, beginning of the year activity, getting to know you, or any time in between when you just want to add some fun. So let's make some memes. So here's what I send out to my students for the make a meme assignment. I've got my instructions on the front page, watch the video on the next slide, check out the meme I made, go to a blank slide, turn it in in classroom. Next, I have a short tutorial that I send out to students on how to make their own memes. And this is the tutorial I send out. I will put the link to this tutorial in the description box right below this video. So if you want to use my tutorial for the kids, you're welcome to it. Then I have my example meme that I make and a blank slide for the students to make their own memes. So let's get started making this presentation. I'm in a new slides presentation. I'm going to clean up my workspace by closing out these themes. Then I want this to be a blank slide. So I'm going to right click on the slide on the left hand side, press apply layout and blank. And now I want to title my presentation. And I'm going to change my page setup. So I'm going to go to file, page setup select custom and I'm going to make mine five by five inches. A nice square size for memes and now I need to make my first slide which is my instructions. So I'm going to insert a text box and just click on the slide to make it appear. And now I am going to highlight this text. I just clicked three times. You can also just uh, drag your cursor over it to highlight and I'm going to select a different font. I like Oswald and I'm going to make that a lot bigger. So let's try 48. Actually, I think it can go even bigger. Let's try 60. Okay, but we need to resize the text box. Let's drag these sides and drag it down. Oh, maybe 60 is a little too big. Nope, perfect. Okay, there we go. So, and then drag this up to the top of the page. Okay, and I'm just gonna make sure that it's centered horizontally by pressing arrange, center on page, horizontally. Looks good. Okay, so I know that I'm gonna want some bulleted text, so I'm going to insert another text box. And I'm gonna make this bigger, I'm gonna drag it down. And I know that I'm gonna want the same font that I already had, so I'm gonna go ahead and just change that right now. And then I am going to put in my text. Okay, and I want some bullets. I can do the regular bullets that Slides has to offer. I like to make a little more fun. I've got an extension with emojis. And I got this extension from the Chrome Web Store. And it's this extension, Emoji Keyboard by Joy Pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and look for a star. And I like this one. So I just click on it and it's already copied. So I just go back to my slide and paste it in. I pressed Command V, Control V, um, whichever computer you're on. And then I just go ahead and fill in the rest of my text with my bullets. Okay. And so now I want to change my background color because those stars don't really pop. So I'm going to go to, oh, I'm highlighting the, the text box so I don't have background as an, as an option. So I'm just going to click somewhere on the slide to get out of that. So now my background shows up. So I'm going to select background, color, choose whatever color you like. I'm going to choose a green because I think it'll make the stars pop. And there we go. We've got our instructional slide. So now we go to another slide. So press the plus sign for a new slide. Again, we need to clean it up. 
So you can either apply layout or you can just put your cursor down, drag the box down so these are both highlighted. Press delete to get rid of those text boxes. And if you know you're gonna use more slides just like this one, you can just highlight it on the left and press Command D or Control D a couple of times to get some blank duplicated slides so you don't have to go through that again. So now I'm gonna insert my video. So I'm gonna to go to Insert Video and I'm gonna do it by URL because I have the tutorial I wanna use, I made it, that's the one I want. I'm gonna paste in that URL and for me that's an unlisted video on YouTube and it's set for kids only or appropriate for kids, I should say, not kids only, and select. And then I want to arrange it. And again, you can arrange it here on the formatting options under position, or you can go to arrange up here. Uh, another neat feature is that if you don't want it to start right at the beginning, if you want to just show part of a video, you can um, do the start at, end at feature, which that's a nice feature on uh, slides so but I'm gonna just do it with the I'm just gonna do my um, formatting with a range center on page horizontally center on page vertically okay so there's my tutorial that's my next slide and then I need to make my example meme so there's a couple different ways to put the picture in that you want to use you can go to insert image and you can upload one from your computer you could use one from your drive if you want to use a personal picture. You can search the web from right here in slides. I like to make my image a background, and so that's the way that I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go to Google Image Search and type in tornado, because I know for my meme, I want a tornado. And we get all these images, and I'm going to select this one and insert and done okay so now i've got my image so now i've got a few things i need to do before i'm done with this meme and i want to first insert a shape i'm going to insert a rectangle and i'm just going to click on the slide to insert that rectangle and then i can resize it and drag it around Okay, that looks good, but I just want it to be a little, yeah, see those red lines? I just want to lock it down on that red line so that I know that it's right end to end on my meme. And you can see this has a border color. I don't want that black border, so I'm going to select border color, transparent, and now you can see that's gone. And I'm going to select that shape again, and I'm going to do fill color, and I'm going to do white for mine because I want a nice white shape to put my words in. So you can either insert a text box or shapes already have a text feature already in them. So you can just go ahead and type. Okay, so I've got my text. I'm gonna highlight it and select a font and change my font size. Okay, that looks like a pretty good size, but I do wanna select my alignment tool and pick center because I want that text centered. So, now we're gonna put some things in the picture of our meme. So I'm gonna press insert, shape, and I'm gonna select, oh, actually insert arrow, that's what I want, arrow. So let's click on the slide to put that arrow in and put it where we want it. And again, I'm gonna get rid of that border and change the color. I want a nice red arrow. And then I'm gonna put in a text box. So that's right here, text box, and just click on the slide to put it in. So put in my text. Okay, I'm gonna highlight it, change my font, change my font size maybe, and my font color. Let's go with red to match the arrow, and then drag it over, make sure you get those crosshairs to move it, and then I can size this text box down because it does not need to be that big. Okay, and so it's a little trial and error getting it lined up the way that you want it. You can also, if you want it to pop a little more, you can bold it, but then that changes the 
um, the size of it. So then I would need to make my text box a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so I've got that part done. Now I'm gonna want another arrow. So I'm gonna highlight the arrow and press Command D or Control D and drag that second arrow up here. And I'm gonna do the same with the text box. And that's gonna keep all my formatting so I don't have to set that up again. And now I'm gonna make my text box bigger and change the text. Okay, so now I need to move my arrow a little bit and play around with it, but that's really it. That's most of it. You can also add in your Bitmoji if you have the Bitmoji extension. So I'm gonna put my Bitmoji in here and type sitting, because I wanna sit on the horse and just drag and drop her right in. And I'm gonna size her down using the corner so that it maintains the width and height ratio. So now I can't really see, I want her on that horse. So I'm gonna go to view, zoom, and just zoom right in so that I can see, maybe size her down a little bit. And put her on the back of one of these horses. There we go, that looks pretty good. So go back to view, zoom, and 100%, and that's my meme. And then I have a blank slide for the students. You can include as many blank slides as you want for the students, and then we'll go to Google Classroom to assign this. Okay, so here I am in my Google Classroom. I'm gonna go to Classwork on the top and Create. I'm gonna create this as an assignment and give it a title. Give whatever instructions you like. I teach high school, so I always put something in there about keeping a classroom appropriate. And add from the drive, and it should be right here because we just made it. And the important thing is I want to make a copy for each student because I want them each to have their own blank template to work from. And then I like to select a topic to keep my classroom organized. And it's already assigned to all my students, so I don't need to change anything there. So I can either just go ahead and click Assign, or if I wanted to show up for them at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, I can schedule that. Um, so however you prefer. So have fun making your memes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please tell your teacher friends about it. Thanks so much. See you soon. Thank you.